All of a sudden we see these kids with posters. I see beans in big letters and I'm like, what the heck? And one of the signs said like, if you need to learn how to make a bean dip or something, just ask these bean beaners. Armando Batista coaches the junior varsity basketball team at Williams High School. He says his stepson plays for the varsity team and was even harassed for his tattoo. He kept referring to him hey, uh, he, that he was a felon or hey, don't forget to check in with your parolee officer. Bautista says the signs were not taken down until halftime. The chanting lasted the entire game. They kept challenging child support. Um, when um, people would stand up, they say, hey, make a taller border. These guys are immigrants. Williams Unified District Superintendent Jennifer Fogelsong says the players took it like champs. Our players are exceptional. And um, in, in light of experiencing that while they were playing, they didn't let it affect their game or their sportsmanship. And honestly, that's something that we're extremely proud of them for. Behind these Williams Junior and Senior High School, the superintendent tells me that the majority of the basketball players here are Hispanic. Same goes for the district. 87% of the students in this district are Hispanic. Fogelsong says disciplinary action is up to you prep. She knows what she'd do if it were her students who had acted like that. Our students would receive the maximum of what our discipline matrix allows. The slurs fell on freshman ears. One man tells me his little brother who plays JV basketball had never been called that before. Deep down, I, I honestly think so. Mm -hmm. Like, it hurt him a bit, as well as all the other players. Now one coach is asking for a fair call. I am not so disappointed in those students because, you know, kids are kids. Kids are going to do what kids do, you know. But those are learned behaviors. Those are somewhere, somebody taught them that. That's the people that I think should be held accountable. Those adults, those faculty members. UPREP has sent a written apology to the school.